How serious is scoliosis? Scoliosis is a progressive condition, so therefore it is its very nature to worsen over time. And progression is normally triggered by growth, so young patients are more at risk for rapid progression than adult patients. However, adult patients, the curves still progress, but they progress slowly over time, kind of like moving really, really slowly, and then they accelerate as the patient gets older and moves more into later stage life. So we say plus 50, 60 years of age, we can start seeing more rapid progression in the adult form. So what ends up happening in middle life between 20 and 50 or 60, scoliosis progresses very, very slowly and you see very little changes. And as a result of this, very often scoliosis is not taken seriously in the adult form. However, as it continues to progress and cause more and more problems in the adult form, it can lead to more serious complications like pain and disabilities, which really can affect quality of life, movement, and being active in later stage life. In adolescent, curves can progress very, very rapidly during growth. And when that happens, when the curve progresses rapidly during growth, it can lead to more serious interventions like scoliosis surgery, which scoliosis surgery or spinal fusion is a very invasive type of surgery. So scoliosis itself isn't normally a life-threatening condition, but it can have very serious implications if left untreated for a significant period of time. Now, progression normally involves this unnatural curvature and the spinal rotation to increase its size. And as it increases its size, it typically it means it increases the effect it's having on the body. And when we look at scoliosis, we know the main effect in children is normally postural deviation. And it normally means like uneven shoulders, uneven hips, and uneven you know, rib cage and what we see. However, as the curve gets bigger, what you see tends to get larger. So it tends to affect more visual impact. But also as the curve is bigger in the, in the adolescent form and the person moves into the adult stage, we know adult curves progress faster based upon their size. So a 50 degree curve in the adult form is gonna progress faster in the adult than a 20 degree curve. So an untreated child going into the adult form is now predisposing their body towards more, more fast progression or faster progression in the adult form, which can lead to more back pain and pain that radiates into the legs extremity, which is by far the most common symptom that adult patients have as a result of a progressing scoliosis is back pain and pain, pain that radiates into extremity. So the best way to minimize the effects is to treat it proactively. Now we know scoliosis affects all ages, but however, it's most commonly diagnosed or associated with adolescent scoliosis, normally diagnosed between 10 and 18 years of age. However, the biggest population of scoliosis uh, patients is adult patients, in fact, later stage life. The greatest population of patients with scoliosis is 60 years plus. So when we look as patients get older, they're more likely to develop a scoliosis or have a scoliosis because you have all the adolescent cases that were not diagnosed and are now progressing in the adult form. And then you also have all the adult onset. Now, is scoliosis always severe? Now, scoliosis ranges in severity. So it can be mild, moderate, severe, or very severe. Now, in the adult form, how severe the scoliosis is isn't necessarily related to how much pain you feel. In the adult form, mild cases can have severe pain and severe scoliosis can have very mild pain. And the reason why, because how much pain you feel in the adult form is relative to how much you progress in the adult stage. So you can go from 20 to 30 degrees in the adult form and have significant pain, where if you go, if you have a 40 or 50 degree curve as an adolescent and never progress and stay at that 50 degree curve your entire life, even though your curve is bigger than the other person, you may have no pain because your body never progressed in the adult form. So the progression in the adult form normally increases the severity of what the effects that you're feeling. Also, we know in adolescence, as curves progress and become more severe, they're more likely to receive a surgical intervention and surgical interventions literally alter spinal function for the rest of your life. So even though it's not causing a physical impairment, like causing any kind of health concern, the treatment option is very, very uh, life, life altering. So therefore, because of the risk associated with the treatment, it definitely recommends treating scoliosis. The severity of scoliosis is definitely determined by the Cobb angle measurement. And the Cobb angle is determined by a spinal x-ray. And the higher the Cobb angle, the more severe the scoliosis is. Now, 
Scoliosis, like I said, is a progression, progressive condition. And scoliosis itself is uncurable because the majority of scoliosis is diagnosed as idiopathic, meaning we don't know what caused it. So since we don't know what causes it, we can't cure it. But scoliosis is highly treatable, especially when it's treated proactively, meaning we are treating it before it becomes into a severe stage and before it's causing severe effects to the body, posturally and physically, and also pain-wise. So even though scoliosis should always be taken seriously, it's not a life-threatening condition, but proactive treatment can have a positive effect on what scoliosis will lead to over somebody's life. And proactive treatment meaning that you can prevent progress progression of scoliosis and the need for serious spinal surgery in the future. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.